Welcome back to the channel guys, it's the Crypto Lightsaber YouTube channel and today I want to cover a few coins for you that we've been covering over the last couple of days um, but before we do that I want to look at Math Wallet as we can see we have got a breakout of Math Wallet okay we've been talking about this for a little while okay uh, Math Wallet definitely performing well at the moment okay we were talking about getting into Math Wallet down here all right, as you can see, if you would have taken that trade, you would, would have been up about 110%, 111% uh, roughly at the moment. Okay, we saw it come down. It did touch about 40 cents before we had a retrace down to roughly 25 cents. Okay, and we we're wondering what was going to happen next. All right, guys, but we did get the bounce. All right, and now we can see that strong breakout with volume on the math wallet chart on the four hour. If you look at the one day, it's looking very juicy as well. Um, definitely could see a big continuation to the upside on that. But we'll have to wait and see whether that does play out that way. Okay. The next support level is down here. Now, okay. Uh, the resistance has become support potentially. All right. And um, yeah, it could go into a new all time high. All right. And into price discovery if it can get uh, that move to the upside. So Math Wallet is performing very well. We talked about it on the channel. Did do a sponsored partnership with them uh, just for one video. Uh, we discussed the fact that they've got the VPOS mining. And, uh, you know, we also talked about the fact that they were Binance, um, what is it, Wallet, uh, Binance Chain Wallet of the Year 2020. They're actually built on the Polkadot system and they're the, uh, the Polkadot ambassador in the China region. Okay, so Math Wallet are definitely one to watch. Okay, and obviously we can see that that's heading up to the upside. You buy it on Bitmart uh, on the USDT pair. All right, guys, so yeah, keep, keep an eye on that. And yeah, we'll have to see um, how that plays out for the rest of the day. All right, guys, I do expect it to go much higher. Okay, uh, it might come down a little bit first, or we might put in a flag maybe. Let's see what happens. All right, looking at DIA. Okay, we talked about DIA yesterday, and we we're expecting a breakout. We got this bullish breakout over here. Okay, but it got rejected off this level. It came back down, and it did test this for support. Okay, but obviously, you can see it's come down here to this support line. And now it's bouncing off this line as a resistance okay so could that potentially come down a lot further all right i was wrong about this i thought that it was going to continue to the upside to be honest all right there's a lot of hype around dia but it does seem there was a bit of rejection okay I think it's about a 30 percent drop okay maybe not 20 percent. all right guys and um yeah we're getting that bounce now probably giving a few people a second chance to get out maybe before it continues down we'll have to wait and see that how that how, how that plays out but on the four hour do, we do have a bearish macd cross and a momentum shift into the downside so yeah we'll have to um, keep our eyes uh, peeled for that one okay dia all right moving on i did anticipate a fall in safe haven okay and i was right about that i did kind of warn you in the last video on safe haven just to be careful with safe and with trading safe even at the moment obviously if you're looking at q coin it does look like it's pretty new pretty fresh chart all right but you can look at the price history on uh, ocean x and it paints a picture that safe haven has gone up quite a lot already okay uh before the uh listing um on q coin all right we did have a triangle drawn here a potential triangle where it could have seen a, a continuation but the way it was performing i did expect we got a, a lower high over here and i said if we put in a lower low that's probably going to go lower especially if it breaks out of that triangle there, there's a lot further down to go for that all right potentially um even down to this support line at first for a bounce maybe or it might just fall straight through down to this support line down here okay i believe that's the 0.618 level let's just check okay we've got okay so the 0.618 levels over here okay and then we've got the golden pocket okay and the 0.786 level it does look like it could come down and test this level all the way down here all right guys but obviously it's not going to go in a straight line 
but we'll have to wait and see how, how that plays out. One thing that I can also see is a bearish divergence that was waiting for it to play out. Obviously, that's going up as the RSI was heading to the downside with the bearish uh, MACD cross, okay? Um, especially with the fact that it's on the one day, I think there's a lot further down for this to go now. All right, guys, so we'll have to wait and um, find out how Safe Haven wants to perform, okay? It doesn't look too great at the moment, but it is due a correction. I, I, I do believe it's, it's, it's due a, a long overdue correction. That's why I've been saying to my supporters. And um, yeah, I think that's it's about time that that happened now, okay? Um, plenty of times where I thought it was coming. All right, over here, we got that bounce. Over here, we got that bounce, okay? And now it looks like, um, yeah, it could be uh, the final. Uh, it could be uh, that that could have been a final kind of you know volume push to the upside all right now we will see this retrace uh, for, but for how long okay safe haven is definitely um, you know one to watch as far as i'm concerned it's definitely a good long-term hold and um, they've actually recently just partnered with matic network to bring the um, inheritance solution on the blockchain into india all right guys so yeah watch this space that's safe haven Okay, I talked about PLT, Plutus DeFi, uh, the other day, all right? Uh, I talked about the fact that this was a potential gem. I also talked about the fact that um, it was putting in a lower high, okay? And we would need to see it break this uh, previous high to the upside for me to get uh, uh, bullish on it, all right? I, I am, you know, this, this, this definitely has some potential. You can go back and watch my previous video uh, called CoinStream, and um, yeah, we talked about this. Uh, this was one of the uh, coins that um, you guys have been posting in the comments. And I decided that, you know, um, every now and again, what we do is uh, maybe maybe once a week, maybe I haven't decided, but we'll pick three coins that you guys are leaving in the comments for me to check out. And we kind of go through them um, live. Not live, because it wasn't a live stream, but I kind of go through them as I see them and kind of record it and give you my first glance and initial reaction to the coin. All right, well, yeah, this is um, come down and it's broken through this uh, uh, support line. So will this continue to the downside? You need to see it get a bounce, all right, a bounce back up through into this area and take out that area over there. All right, but um, if you did take that trade over there, it's probably not the best idea, okay? Waiting for a breakout on, on ones like this, okay? Waiting for a break above the previous high and then you will put your position up uh, anywhere up here. Okay, and then you might put a stop loss down here, all right, um, and that's if you trade in it, because obviously it's an early chart, guys, it's quite new, it's quite new, okay, um, on KuCoin since July, okay, but one of the things we talked about, if you go on CoinMarketCal, you can see that the staking actually launches for this project on the 28th of September, which has been run forward, okay, so um, yeah, I mean, it's early, there's still a month before that, but in the next couple of weeks, you could potentially see Plutus DeFi, um, you know, start moving to the upside. Um, I'll be keeping an eye on it uh, to see what's happening. All right, guys, and you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try and keep you guys informed. All right. So, yeah, just a quick update. Math Wallet, yeah, still moving to the upside, okay? Up to 49 cents, all right? Uh, that's a nice bit of a move, okay? A nice bit of a move. Uh, yeah, I like Math Wallet. Yeah, definitely one to watch for me, guys. You know, and I love finding these coins on Bitmart. You know, I'm just uh, you, you might see that I'm, I'm using Bitmart a lot. That's because I'm I'm looking for low cap gems, all right. And you know, you find a lot of them on 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 low tier um, exchanges, all right. But um, you can find them on like the Q coins and the Binance and stuff like that, all right. But I like, I'm I'm a, I'm a bit of a dark horse, okay. I like to find coins that no one's really talking about and no one's really discovered yet. All right, because the early bird catches the worm, okay? So, yeah. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe, like, leave a comment down below, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.